What's up guys, it's Mark. Hey, I just want to do a final video about my uh, quitting diet pop and caffeine. Uh, my other videos, the first two, are on my old channel. So, if you want to just search quitting diet pop and caffeine, they should come up. I think it's week one and week, week two. Um, basically, I don't have a whole lot. Um, today, I think, would actually be week four. Maybe tomorrow's week four. Um, it's just... Uh, I got sidetracked because I was starting this new channel. Um, I will tell you that after week two, I haven't seen very much uh, more improvement. I will say that the initial benefit of um, like acne clearing up and, and clearer skin around the forehead, um, that is actually no longer true. I started breaking out again, so it was just kind of a temporary thing. I don't, don't really know what the deal was with that. Um, and the other thing is, uh, I want to say it was about a week ago, which would have been week three, uh, I dropped down to no caffeine at all. So I've officially been caffeine free for a week, and this is the first time in my life. So it is survivable. It, it very much is. In fact, it, it, you're not going to be miserable. It, it's You just don't really feel anything. You don't feel tired, nothing. Um, so, definitely I know why you're doing it, it feels bad, but um, stick it out three weeks, you'll be fine. Uh, the one thing that I really do want to stress is when I finally weaned myself off, and I went from taking 25 milligrams, which is like an eighth of a cup of coffee per day, to none, I got super, super bitchy. Like, I don't even know how to say this. Like... I, want, I, say, I use the word bitchy because I really wasn't being an asshole. Um, it wasn't like I was intentionally doing things to be mean. But my god, I was so irritable. I mean, everything. Every slight noise that my roommate would make. Anything that anybody said at work. I mean, it was bad. It got to the point a few days ago. I couldn't even stand to be around myself. Um... And that's actually how I ended up finding the solution to that. Um, now, I, I won't say that I'm completely over that. I'm totally bitchy. I'm just, I just got it in my head that I'm like bitching and moaning and complaining about everything. And not in the best mood, not in a terrible mood. Um, but I basically found out that if you get exercise, it helps that a lot. I haven't been exercising because I hurt my ankle um, a few months ago and I'm going through physical therapy for that. Uh, but a couple days ago it was like the last warm day that we're going to have around here and I went for a hike, a pretty long one and I don't know what it was about it but I felt a hell of a lot better afterward and I'm getting a new pair of running shoes this weekend so after that I'm going to uh, go for a run when I'm feeling like that and I, I think it's going to make me feel a lot better um, I was talking to one of my employees who went through this before and he said that it's basically the same thing as a nicotine addiction, getting off that. He said you're going to be bitchy and you're going to be fine and you'll be bitchy and fine and it'll go back and forth like that for a few months. Um, so I'm guessing probably six months or so uh, until I'm, like, stabilized. Um, I should say I did relapse. Um, not intentionally. I actually went to a Halloween party this past Saturday and it was sponsored by Four Loco and Monster Energy. Well, they were giving out a bunch of stuff, and I saw free stuff, and I just grabbed a can of Monster and opened it up, and you know that's that cult, that's that habit that you have to break, you know. And I, and I could just see somebody that was trying to quit smoking and grab a cigarette and light up without even thinking about it because it's muscle memory. And that's exactly what happened to me. I was like, oh, free, I take it. And, I took a sip of it, and while I still had that first sip in my mouth, I was like, oh shit, this is caffeine. There's people everywhere, I didn't really just want to spit it out. So I drank the one sip. Ended up throwing the rest of the way. So, technically I haven't been caffeine-free for a week, but whatever microscopic amount was in there probably didn't hurt me much. I, I definitely noticed it, uh, because... You do notice caffeine when you haven't had it for a while. I mean, I could feel my eye, my, like my my eyes dilating 
as soon as that entered my bloodstream. And <laughs> uh, it definitely affects you when you go from no caffeine to something jacked with caffeine like that. But anyway, just that's basically going to be it now. Just a lifestyle change, getting over this moodiness, and then the lifestyle change of just reminding myself when I go through the drive through can't get a value meal because it comes with pop. Can't, uh, you know, certain things I can't have. So that's pretty much it. Um, this has not been as bad as I thought, and I hope I can really stick with this and make it a lifestyle change. Um, I don't even think I'm going to try to do it in moderation. It's just going to be too tempting to go back to it. So, uh, I hope that I've helped a little bit, um, if anybody's watched these three videos, and uh, maybe it inspired you to get off of caffeine and pop and all the chemicals, uh, it, it will make you feel better, it will have some health benefits, and honestly, even though you're going to be bitchy for a while, it's going to be better for you in the long run. Um, just stick it out, and I hope that... Um, maybe I've inspired some of you to, to live a little bit better.